Good morning, James. This is gonna be quick little spurts so we can get this communicated real well. I will do the drawings like you recommended on things that need to be done, but I think an overall view um, or uh, overall understanding of the plans is so important and missed by so many people that do plans for us and that's why I'm really reaching out to you. I'm gonna give you some things on video and of course some details too so we can go through that. And I'm gonna focus on these plans from now strip. The first thing I'm gonna do is start with the deck plan and we're gonna cut off some parts that are no longer needed. Uh, we're going to talk about where the post, the actual railing posts are gonna set and what's needed to um, um, accommodate those. And then we're gonna get into those details. So here we go. Oh yeah, and first I'm going to have um, right behind this, I'm gonna have a few pictures of the existing deck, the existing house, uh, so you can actually get a good feel for that, uh, so you know how high we are up off the ground. All right, so here's the basic view, a foggy day, zoomed in a little bit. Here's the secondary view, a little more realistic on size. And then here's a, a look at the house. You can see the decks. You can see the one down below that's just barely poking out. And again, you're seeing the one at the far right side, just barely. And here you're seeing a front straight on view of the main deck and the main deck with the step down to the side deck. This is a still shot of the deck as it steps down. Uh, from the main deck, it is a tread and a and the landing or the deck uh, so you've got a tread and landing so it's really two steps down then it's level and you can see the importance of that where the siding comes in over here also for the garden it's just one step down into the garden area that sits in between here and this is a really important area for um, Susan Nowstrup. Uh, this is her little veggie area that is right outside the kitchen they have a little kitchen table that sits right inside here it's a nice little setup here she loves to, the two steps down, but wants to keep this all the same the rest of the way across. Just a very quick look at the entire deck, and let's start clarifying really quick what stays and what goes. The stairways down go. This concrete deck here then squares off here, just a square corner, and there will be a rail all the way back to the wall. Everything else stays. We need to clarify how far down this goes, how many steps. We need to add the steps here. This is the little garden area, and this is the tread, and then the landing here. So it's actually a two step down uh, that puts you right onto the deck. Thus, we need to go further down with this one than there. So this has actually a tread and a tread, and then the third step down, and that's gonna stay that way. Uh, that's why this came up with the one, two, three, and then the deck being the fourth step down. We want to maintain those at a very uh, minimal. Let's get those raised up to a six inch, six inch, six inch, six inch. So six times four, that gives us 24 inches that this deck is lower than this deck. Let's make sure we get that on the plans. From this deck, um, there's going to be steps down here. But this deck and this deck are at basically the same level, uh, tying into the siding on that portion of the house. This is the actual deck plan as it is now that we're gonna make the changes on before we proceed with the foundation and um, framing plan. This goes away, this uh, stair area here goes completely away. And the fact is, let's flip over to where we did that uh, in person with them. So that's gonna go away. Uh, do not want the steps down there. Instead, we're gonna be doing um, wood steps down in this area. So literally get rid of these and we're gonna add steps here. Now below this set of steps and the one on the other end, uh, there's gonna be a landing pad uh, that'll be needed uh, on the concrete part of the plants. Make note of that. <clears throat> now, on this set of plants, we're gonna go over this uh, because we have to frame to accommodate these posts. I'm going to give you a detail on the perimeter, uh, the rim joist, if you would, that is going to be out here on the perimeter. And then there's going to be some details on the outside of that. 
But if you notice that we've got posts, trying to space them out equally. And um, you can see we've got corner post, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine posts across there equally spaced. Counting the corner post here, one, two, three, four, not against the wall, slightly out from the wall there. And again, the corner post, one, two, three, four, to the top of the steps and then down with a single post in the center of the steps there. Now that's the little blue squares that I drew in. And we wanna leave a one inch clear from the wall on that end post that allows us to tighten the cable railing. Same thing, <clears throat> it would be, well, actually this starts at the um, at this point. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to fit and how the stairs need to be. This is our just two by two post. So they're not very large, but it still needs to have a same appearance gap-wise as this, I believe. <clears throat> and then we've got the post here, post on the other side of the steps. Let's make the steps the same width as we have them here. This is gonna be shorter down to the ground than this side, I believe. We'll look at that on the pictures as I send those to you. And then here on this end, we've got one, two, three, four, Five, counting the corner, counting the corner again, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that uh, go in that space, uh, counting both corners. And here we've got one, two, and then one, two, three, four, and then one, two here, and of course steps down there. Now let's continue on with the post. One, two, three, four, five, counting the corner here and the corner here in this area, equally spaced. Counting the corner here and the corner here, you got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You can see where this one got crowded to close a little arrow stand, move it out. Again, one, two, three, four, five here, and one, two, three, four, five, six there in this longer run. One, two, three here, one, two, three here, and again, three on the uh, steps going down. All right, here's a drawing of mine with the rim joist, the blocking, the double two by 10 beam flush with the joist, connected to the concrete. And this is the full scale. So you see a bird's eye view up above and the uh, joist detail with the rim joist detail on the bottom. Here's a close up of the bird's eye view. Shows the red railing connecting at the corners where they're less than 45. Looks like uh, we need a three inch, three eighths inch gap so it can accommodate the loosening and tightening of the cable railing as a maintenance. And the big foot uh, with the sonal tubes on top, it'll be eight inch for most of it and a few 12 inch as noted deck to wall spacers every 16 inches, a double spacer on the ledger board. Framing is going to be pretty much as it shows here. Uh, what's missing is a uh, ledger board on all the walls where everything attaches, a double beam across here, 2 by 10 we don't have room for the 2 by 12 and so it'll be the same as the ledger board that's coming across here. And then of course here, we've got to do the ledger board on the walls, corner to the end of the deck, and then a double rim joist everywhere. So starting here, double rim joist, double rim joist all the way up. And then there's the transition down, double rim joist, double rim joist, transition back up double rim joists everywhere. This gives us what we need to really fasten the railing in and it gives us the structural strength that we need for these areas. Double rim joists, double rim joists, double rim joists, and down the steps. The um, ledger board um, that the hangers will fasten to here, uh, we do wanna use those spacers all along this, we want to screw the first 
rim joist into the rafters, screw the second one into that so it's very strong here. We want to use a joist wrap on top of all the joist, on top of all the beams. This long beam will be 2 by 12. Three stacked up. One, two, three, making a beam out of the three. Um, this one will be 2 by 10. Only a pair. This one, 2 by 10, only a pair. The beams here, 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 2 by 10, double, um, double 2 by 10 creates those beams. They'll be hangered to a custom hanger into the concrete here, going over here, cantilevering kind of out just slightly which will pick up the weight that's going to be carried by this double rim joist here. And before we go any further, let's see if indeed we can get those details in place and we will go from there.